In last video, we set up the home page, and in this video, we need to keep moving with the store, but in order to do all of that, we need a product on the store. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up with a supplier. That way you don't have to do any work after the fact, and you can just be having peace of mind knowing that when you get an order, you know how to fulfill it. So I'm gonna show how to add a product onto your store with a supplier, and then in a few videos, I'll probably show you how to fulfill your orders. I'll place a test order and then go through the process. So you know, once a customer buys, you'll know how to fulfill that order, but we'll cover that in another video. For this one, we'll add Zendrop. This is going to be the point of contact for who's getting the product from China into your customer's hands. I personally use Zendrop. We use other companies sometimes. However, for this one, we're just gonna roll with Zendrop. They're probably the easiest to sync up and so all you'll have to do is plug your email in and a password and get things rolling. Now, once you have a Zendrop account, all you'll need to do is just go on here and find a product, whatever you're wanting to sell. And if Zendrop doesn't have a product on here, all you'll need to do is just contact them and request a quote. And you can do that from the help center up there. But for this one, all we are going to do is just go into the beauty category and get this all started. So as you can see, there's a lot of products on here. So whatever product you're wanting to sell, just pick it and then you can import it onto your store. Just click add to my products from my products you'll import it so i'm going to pick a random product i need to pick this properly that way we can actually build out an amazing store that looks quality and so i'm going to look around for one and pick it and then we'll start building out the store once you have an account with zendrop just click find products and then i filtered with the beauty category the bath and beauty and then all we'll do is just scroll down and then click add to my products once you find a product that you like now i'm going to find one and then i'll update you once i find it just trying to find one real quick. For the purpose of this program, I'm gonna build out a product page with this pheromone perfume. Now, it's something that basically, and I'll add it to my list, it's something that allegedly attracts the other gender. If you spray it on yourself, this is for girls to use to get guys. It allegedly gets them excited. We'll just leave it at that. And I've sold this in the past and it's done pretty decently. And so it is a product that sells well and people have actually liked it. So we'll go to my products and we will import this onto our store. Once you click add, all you'll have to do is just click review and publish, edit anything you need in here. If you need to change the price or anything like that, definitely do that. For this product, we will just put it at $19.99. However, we will cover offers and what you should do for pricing in the future, um, but not for this video. For now, we'll just leave it at $19.99. So let's do that. And then for, oh, actually let's do, uh, this is one piece, two piece. Okay, so we can do, let's just see. Uh, we'll do $14.99 for one. And then we can do $19.99 for two. And then $24.99 for three. Or I guess that's four. Hmm. 29, that's good. And then we can do 34.99. And then we can hit publish to my store. Once it shows linked, it'll be on your Shopify store. So I'll just refresh. And as you can see, the product is now here. So just go to online store and we can start customizing everything. Now in the next few videos, I'll show you how to finish up the website. Now that we have a product on the website and everything's good to go, we just have to finish with photos and linking up different sorts of things, adding apps and all that good stuff to make this little lushy boutique actually look viable and look good enough to actually sell some products. So I'll see you in the next video where we will continue to build out the Shopify store to make it professional and ready to go. video we went over how to just add a product from Zendrop onto your website. Now let's finish up the website. So 
first things first, let's go on to the sense theme and start customizing it. And I know this is the boring stuff, however, it's what you need to do. Unfortunately, you know, building a store isn't the most fun, however, it's needed. So all we'll do right here, since we are going to be building out a one product store, we can either add the image right here, or what we can do is explore free images and just type in, maybe we can type in woman. <laughs> Um, I need to find a better picture. Let's All right, let's just do I think that photo looks good um, It looks okay Win him Just your All right, so all I've done so far is just change this photo to a simple one of these people holding hands win him over with just your scent and then a shop now button linking to the product page. Now, product page isn't done yet. We're not gonna do that yet. I've still gotta work on that. However, we gotta finish up this home page. So right here for the featured product, all you do is just select the product you want and then click select on the bottom and it will now populate right there. It's gonna be showing out the product and some things you'll have to remove. Like for example, it says vendor, you can remove that and now it does not show that anymore. Now, all of this other stuff like sizing, you can drop it to a drop down menu or the pills, doesn't matter. Um, you can do either, but I personally like the drop down menu. I think it looks a little cleaner. Share, you can also remove the share icon and then that's the homepage pretty much. Now, understand this. You don't need to have a fancy homepage off the bat. Even at scale, we don't have crazy homepages. Maybe at like 20 to 50K a day, but until then, our homepages are bare. It's just bare minimum to test the product out. So that is good enough for now. And keep that in mind as you keep progressing. And you guys can look at the case study that we have in this, in this whole program. It's free to access. Um, so just keep in mind, this is something we don't really put a lot of emphasis on, but it still should look okay. Just in case people glance around at your website. In this video, I'll show you how to create a highly converting website on your Shopify store with the product page specifically. Now, we've got a lot of work to do. I was gonna film all of this uh, after I finished the website, but I figure I wanna show you kind of steps along the way and how it's done. That way you can learn exactly how to do this. So to start, all you'll need to do is have a product on your website. In the previous video, I showed you how to import them from Zendrop. And now once you have a product, it might look something like this. What I've done is I trashed all of the other photos of this little perfume because there are around 10 on the product page and it just didn't look good. So I'll show you how to do that real quickly. All you'll do is go to products right there and select the product. And then I just removed all of the other products and found these from a competitor and just put them on the website. I then rewrote this little description, just making little statements bold and then kept it very simple. You also can remove the package includes. I'm going to leave that for now. I think it still looks good. And then all you need to do is come to the online store and let's work on the actual product page layout for this product specifically, because that was just kind of the product settings and all that stuff. Now we need to actually make it look really, really good. So. What I've gone out and done is I've added this section right here. So when you have the sense theme, all you'll do because you won't have this, I can hide that right now and I can hide, uh, I'll hide everything. So it is gonna look very similar to what you currently have. Your product page probably will look something like this. All you'll do is you'll click add section. And then if you want to add the image with text, you'll select that one. That is going to add this to your product page. Now that looks really good. And the reason I have this structure is because we're selling this product on TikTok. And if I were to run TikTok ads, it would be weird if I just had photos on my website. So doing GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call them on your website, you actually bring that overall vibe of TikTok onto your website and make people almost feel like they're at home and feel comfortable on your website, showing them content that looks like something that should be on TikTok. For the text, all I put is lure him in. He wants you, he just doesn't know it yet. The Lushy perfume is scientifically formulated with natural pheromones that have been shown to cap capture the attention of men and makes you irresistibly appealing. So that's block number one. And then we're gonna just add a second one. Again, all you'll have to do is click add another image with text. I already have one right here, so I will unhide that one. And this one looks pretty bland. For the last block, I just put why are we so special, attraction, boosting, natural ingredients, easy applicator design, and 30 day free trial. So I have 
all of this on here to kind of hit home with the overall demographic that we're selling to. We're selling to girls who want to attract guys. And I wanted to have a happy girl on here for that little picture. That way you can kind of, again, tie all of that in together. This looks a lot better than if I were to just make a product description, type it in right there, and it looks even better on mobile. So here's how it'll look on mobile. You'll have all of these different pictures that look solid, and then we still need to actually rename the product page. Here's how it will look on mobile. I'm gonna save it, and then we can go through it. So product photos, they look pretty good, and then we will have, we actually need to change the offer. That size, we can also mess with that, but overall, it's starting to look a whole lot better, and it's starting to actually flow like somewhat of a funnel that will convert pretty decently. We still have a few more apps to add though, but that's the basics for how you guys should set up your product pages. I'm gonna change the product title right now as well. All you will do is try to make it branded. So I personally will do Lushy Pheromone Perfume and click save if you'd like. You can add a TM and then have that be your name of the store or your name of the product. And then from there, you are pretty much good to go. There are gonna be a few little tweaks that we need to make for apps and stuff to make your website convert a lot better. However, the foundation is laid. So in the next few videos, I'll cover apps, I'll finish up the policies pages, the contact us, the navigation bars and all that, but then we'll be pretty much done. By this time, your product page is looking a lot better than it once was, however, it's not done. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set up policy pages. Essentially, down here, there's going to be some pages that you can actually add, for example, privacy policy, terms of service, and all of that other stuff. I'll show you how to add that pretty quickly, and we will slowly but surely finish up this website so you can be done with setting it up, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.